Your EV battery isn't failing. You're killing it without realizing it. A Tesla service advisor once pulled me aside after a routine checkup and said something that completely changed how I drive. 90% of the degraded batteries we see weren't defective. They were destroyed by owners who treated them exactly like gas tanks. My EV just passed 120,000 miles with 94% of its original battery capacity intact. Same pack, zero degradation issues. The difference isn't luck. It's eight specific habits that most EV drivers completely ignore. Habits that either preserve battery chemistry or slowly destroy it from the inside out. Never start driving with a cold battery. Most mornings, EV owners unplug and go. Battery temperature reads 20 degrees Fahrenheit. They figure it's an electric car. Just push the pedal and drive. That single decision is costing them 20 to 30% of their range every winter morning. Here's what exactly happens inside a frozen battery pack. Lithium ion chemistry slows dramatically below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Internal resistance spikes, voltage drops. The battery management system detects these danger signs and immediately restricts power output to prevent permanent damage. Cold batteries deliver maybe 60 to 70% of normal range because you're forcing chemical reactions that simply cannot happen efficiently at low temperatures. Worse, Regenerative braking disappears completely because the system won't risk charging a frozen pack. The fix is embarrassing simple. Precondition before driving. Every modern EV includes this feature through the mobile app or scheduled departure settings. Activate it 30 to 40 minutes before leaving while the vehicle remains plugged into your charger. This warms the battery pack using grid power instead of draining the capacity you need for driving. The chemistry reaches optimal operating temperature. Internal resistance normalizes, you step into a warm cabin with a battery delivering full performance and maximum range. I tested this rigorously last week. I tested this rigorously last winter. Without preconditioning at 15 degrees Fahrenheit, my first 10 miles consumed 40% more energy than normal. The battery desperately heating itself while simultaneously powering the vehicle. With preconditioning, I started every trip at optimal temperature and retained 80% more usable range throughout the day. A friend learned this lesson expensively. She drove her Chevy Bolt in negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit weather without preconditioning. The displayed range dropped from 220 miles to 140 miles within 3 miles of driving. She barely made it to work, then couldn't reach a charger on the way home. The tow cost $180, all because she skipped a 30-second app activation. Never fast charge below 15 to 20% state of charge. This mistake happens at DC fast chargers every single day, and it's causing permanent battery damage that you'll never recover. Picture this scenario. You pull into a supercharger with 8% remaining. Temperature outside reads 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You plug in expecting 150 kilowatts of charging power. Instead, you're getting 22 kilowatts, barely faster than home charging, but you're paying premium rates. What's happening inside your battery at this exact moment is called lithium plating. When you force high-speed charging into a nearly depleted cold battery, lithium ions cannot properly intercalate into the egg node structure. Instead, they plate onto the surface as metallic lithium. This plated lithium never returns to active service. It's permanent capacity loss that reduces your maximum range forever. The damage accumulates with every aggressive low-charge fast charging session. Professional EV fleet managers understand this perfectly. They never DC fast charge below 15 to 20% state of charge. That buffer protects battery chemistry from the extreme stress of high current charging when the pack is most vulnerable. The battery is designed to handle fast charging between 20 and 80% with minimal stress. Outside that window, especially below 15%, you're choosing between convenience today and battery longevity tomorrow. My rule is non-negotiable. If I'm approaching 50%, I either slow down to extend range or accept slower charging speeds. I've maintained 94% battery health over 120,000 miles by never pushing beyond safe charging limits. A Model Y owner ignored this advice, ignored this advice religiously. He routinely fast charged from 5% to 100% twice weekly. After 60,000 miles, his battery capacity had dropped to 82% of original. The degradation was permanent. His vehicle's resale value dropped by $4,500 because of documented battery deterioration. Never leave your EV parked with a near-empty battery. 
Most drivers don't realize this. Parking an EV below 10% for extended periods is battery chemistry murder. The battery management system continues consuming power even when the vehicle sits unused. Vampire drain ranges from 1 to 3% per day, depending on outside temperature and enabled features. In freezing weather, that drain accelerates as the system attempts to maintain minimum operating temperature. Leave your EV at 8% charge for a week in winter, you might return to a completely dead battery that won't wake up. Deep discharge below 0% causes permanent cell damage that no amount of charging can reverse. I learned this watching a neighbor's nightmare unfold. He parked his Nissan Leaf at the airport with 12% remaining for a 10-day vacation. Temperature dropped to 5 degrees Fahrenheit during his absence. When he returned, the battery was completely dead. Wouldn't charge, wouldn't respond, wouldn't power on. The dearly diagnosed complete battery system failure from deep discharge. Replacement cost? $8,200. Insurance wouldn't cover it because the manual explicitly warns against long-term storage below 20%. Before you continue, hit that subscribe button and click like if you're discovering EV habits that could save you thousands in battery replacement costs. The correct storage range is 40 to 70% state of charge. This buffer provides enough energy that battery heating systems can operate without depleting the pack while preventing the high voltage stress of storing near 100%. For daily parking, never go below 20%. For vacation or long-term storage, target 5%. The single habit protects tens of thousands of dollars of battery investment. Never use the HVAC system like a gas car. Gas car drivers have been conditioned for decades. Get in, crank the heat to maximum, wait for comfort. That habit will destroy your EV's winter range. Cabin heating in an EV draws 3 to 6% kilowatts of power continuously, enough energy to heat an entire house. Your battery calculates that if you continue using this much power, range drops by 30 to 40% immediately. Gas cars hide this cost because waste engine heat is essentially free. EVs generate almost no waste heat, so every degree of cabin warmth comes directly from battery capacity. The solution requires zero sacrifice and comfort. Use seat heaters first then activate your heated steering wheel. These features deliver heat directly to your body with maximum efficiency. A seat heater draws roughly 50 watts. A steering wheel heater uses about 75 watts. Combined, they consume one-tenth the power of blasting cabin heat while preventing immediate comfort. Once you're comfortable from seat and steering wheel heating, add gentle cabin temperature, maybe 68 degrees Fahrenheit instead of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. This maintains comfort without guzzling kilowatts. I tested this throughout an entire winter, using seat heaters and steering wheel heat first, then maintaining moderate cabin temperature. I retained an additional 12% range on every trip compared to immediately blasting maximum heat. That's 20 to 35 miles of range recovered simply by changing which heat elements activate first. Never ignore regenerative braking limits. New EV drivers experience genuine panic the first time regenerative braking completely disappears on a cold morning. You release the accelerator, expecting that familiar deceleration. Instead, the vehicle just coasts. The one-pedal driving experience you've adapted to vanishes completely. Stopping distances increase dramatically. This happens because regenerative braking is charging. It's capturing kinetic energy and pushing it back into the battery. A cold battery cannot safely accept that charge so the system disables regenerative braking completely to prevent damage. Additional regen disappears when the battery approaches 100% charge. There's nowhere to store recovered energy, so the system defaults to friction brakes. Understanding this prevents unnecessary panic and expensive diagnostic visits. The solution is patience. During the first 10 to 15 minutes of driving, the battery warms naturally. Regenerative braking gradually returns as operating temperature stabilizes. If you precondition properly before departure, regenerative braking returns within just 3 to 5 minutes instead of 15 to 20 minutes of cold driving. Never run your EV at high speed with a cold drivetrain. Most EV owners think only the battery needs warming. They're wrong. Electric motors and reduction gearboxes also require temperature to reach peak efficiency. Driving aggressively when everything is cold causes increased electrical resistance higher inverter load, reduced efficiency, and unnecessary heat spikes inside the motor housing. 
the system responds by temporarily limiting power output until temperatures normalize. You'll notice reduced acceleration and lower top speed until the drivetrain warms. Correct practice is simple. Drive gently the first five to 10 minutes. Avoid full throttle until power fully returns. Let the drivetrain warm naturally through moderate operation. A Porsche Taycan owner learned this during a winter track day. He arrived with a cold car and immediately attempted high-speed laps. The car entered lip mode after just three laps, limiting power to 40% to prevent overheating damage. He sat for 30 minutes waiting for temperatures to normalize. Meanwhile, I arrived, drove gently for 10 minutes to warm everything properly, then completed 15 full power laps without issue. The experience wasn't the car. It was respecting thermal management requirements. Never keep tires underinflated in an EV. EVs weigh 500 to 1,000 pounds more than equivalent gas cars because of battery pack mass. That extra weight on underinflated tires creates a massive range loss through increased rolling resistance. Underinflated tires by just 5 psi can reduce efficiency by 8 to 12 percent. That's 20 to 30 miles of lost range on every charge. Worse, soft tires generate excessive heat, accelerate tread wear, and increase load on motors and suspension components. Check tire pressure monthly when cold. Maintain pressure at manufacturer specifications or slightly above. I run 3 PSI over recommended pressure and consistently achieve 5 to 8% better efficiency than EPA estimates. Quality tires matter enormously. Low rolling resistance tires designed for EVs can improve range by 10 to 15% compared to standard all season tires. That investment pays for itself within 15,000 miles through reduced charging costs. A Tesla Model 3 owner tracked this meticulously over 40,000 miles. He maintained perfect tire pressure and upgraded to Michelin Pilot Sport EV tires at 25,000 miles. His average efficiency improved from 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour to 4.3 miles per kilowatt hour, a 13% improvement translating to 40 additional miles per charge. Over a year of driving, this saved him $340 in charging costs while his tires lasted 15,000 miles longer than standard all seasons. He calculated the premium tires paid for themselves in just 18 months through reduced electricity consumption and extended tire life. The investment wasn't optional. It was mathematically inevitable. Never use the wrong charging routine for your lifestyle. Most EV drivers use one charging approach for all situations. That's costing them money and battery longevity. For daily driving, slow AC charging at home to 80%. This minimizes battery stress and costs pennies per session. For cold weather, precondition battery before every charging session and every departure. This protects chemistry and maximizes efficiency. For road trips, DC fast charge only between 15 and 80%. Charging slows dramatically above 80% so you actually save time stopping twice for short sessions versus once for a long session. For storage, maintain 40 to 70% charge and keep the vehicle plugged in. This prevents deep discharge while avoiding high voltage stress. Smart charging isn't complicated. It's matching strategy to situation instead of treating every charging session identically. EVs last longer if you avoid these habits. Batteries don't degrade by accident. Drivers destroy them through ignorance. Every habit I've shared costs nothing to implement, but prevents thousands in premature battery replacement. These aren't secrets. They're fundamentals that dealerships don't emphasize because they profit from warranty expirations and repairs. Treat your battery right. Precondition before driving and charging. Use interior heating strategically. Never fast charge below 15%. Drive smoothly when cold. 94% battery health at 120,000 miles becomes normal, not rare. Which habit surprised you most? Share in the comments which one you'll implement first and subscribe for more EV knowledge that protects your investment and maximizes range. Your EV has far more potential than you realize. Now you know exactly how to unlock it.